video on how to install the Wade Field patches. Our first task is going to make sure that Xming is working. So we're going to navigate here. I'm going to open up Xming. And open it up, make sure it's running. I'm going to navigate to our taskbar here, verify that it is open. Next, we're going to want to connect to our server. We're going to open up Putty. We're going to go down here to SSH. We're going to want to enable X11 forwarding. Then we can get our display on our local machine. Go back, type in your hostname and IP address of the server. Connect to it. Type in our password. We're going to go to the Wadefield folder. Then here we're going to want to transfer our patch files to our server. We're going to open up FileZilla and use this for that. And our host. And our username. Password. Port 22. And connect. And we're going to navigate to the folder which we have downloaded our patch files to from our email. Select the patch files and drag them to the Wadefield folder. Now that our patch files have been uploaded to the server, we're going to patch them using the patch command. Patch, and then we're going to redirect our Wadefield file first, .cxx.patch. Next, we're going to patch the GUI folders, same thing. Then the header for this as well. And now that we've patched the files, what we're going to want to do next is remake it. So we're just going to type make. And then in order to start Waitfield, we need to ensure that the display is set to our local machine and not the remote. Usually the local machine has a display variable such as this, in which case Wadefield will not work, it will crash. We need to make sure that this is a local machine, our X main server, so usually the SSH or X11 forwarding sets it to a value above 10, so 10 is a reasonable value to start at. So we're going to export a display to 10.0, then try to run Wadefield. And we'll see that Wayfield does indeed start. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is how to load the save files into Wayfield. So what we do is we start Wayfield normally, and then we pass in the file name of our parameters as an argument to the program. So we do Wayfield, then for example, parameters heartmode.dat. This is a file that comes with Wayfield. You can generate your own or use any of the other example.dat files that are coming in the folder. So what we want to do is we want to start with the program name and then the file that we've saved our parameters to as argument. So now we're going to start Wayfield. And we'll see here that all our presets for this uh, setting has popped up. So for example, if I change the bias voltage, change the detector's thickness, Then I wanted to save these. All I wanted to do is go up here to the top left, name the file that I want to save these to, then I hit the save button, and then that saves the parameters. So now what I wanted to load those back, I do wait field, then I do my sample file that I just saved it to, and now I'll load in the parameters which I have typed in last time. Perfect. 